Jubilant Stories, unearthing the power of together. Hi, I'm Vanessa, um, of Athnot, and um, with Rose of Athnot, we set up a artist residency in um, near Sarancester with the idea of connecting into our community, finding out who lives around us. If we open our doors of our studio to um, to the um, people around us who would actually come in and um, enjoy our facilities here as, a, as, a, as artists. And tell me who um, who who comes and how are you connecting with your community? What what's actually going on? Let's see. Um, we so we started in January. This year, so we've only been going for four months. Um, and we spent, spent the autumn setting up the barn. Um, this is where, where we are now. And um, we, so we, we started looking for um, organisations and local projects to, um, to work with. We literally just sent some emails to, to people and went visiting different, different projects like. Um, uh, old people in the community around here, the next door, three villages, and um, Beat Project, which is eating disorder group based in Sirencester, it's ten minutes away from nearest town, and um, uh, and then a, a farm project um, for people with um, farms with vulnerable people with different disorders. So these are all things that you've done. Um, because you wanted to connect with your community. This isn't anything that's charged for. Yeah, it's all it's all completely free. It was it's, we started as an artist residency here just for because um, I graduated last year to have like a group of artists here because we had lots of space and room to do it. Um, and then because we were going to offer that free and because of well general interest. And when, when I was young, we used to do quite a lot of community art and stuff. Um, um, we thought it would be great if they could give back rather than by paying to do stuff in the community. Um, so we've been doing an average of about three or four um, sessions a week, either here or at the organisations, because the, the little tricky things are like transport and sort of those kind of organising things. And what, what do you think you guys get out of going out to the community and connecting with local people? Why is, why is that important to you? Well, we're just like them in a way. We need to get out. <laughs> <laughs> we like to get out, like to meet people. Um, it's exciting getting out as a group, little team, going and like sort of taking our mobile art equipment out. It's fun, it's a good it's challenge. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun, isn't it? We go in and we create an atmosphere. And um, we go away, and of the old people, it's so much better. We did have them coming here, but gosh, it took like half an hour to get more than those four stairs. <laughs> yeah. and it's fun because there's like five or six of us, mm. and um, we're, we've only we usually just got like one person who actually runs a car living here. So it's great when we can all just bundle in the car, mm. get down to Stroud, sort of stop off at Pegasus, come back by the pub, sort of thing. And mm. we also do quite a lot of work with them because it seems to be that there's sometimes people find it difficult um, with like the kind of respect for an artist or something, sort of graduated artists and so if we're just like muddling around making art alongside them then they realise that there's there's nothing to be scared of and we're just sort of the same sort of thing, we just do it more often. That's all. Like today you were painting alongside Simon mm. so rather than just all watching him and trying to suggest how he puts the paint on the porter cabin. We were just painting mm. alongside him so he feels he's just doing something with people. Because we feel because we feel very strongly like um, when people work together they're very inspired by each other. And that people have lows and highs and sort of and we all kind of carry each other along sort of thing. Um, and that works in our groups as much as it does just in the studio. So you both obviously have um, strengths in, in art and creativity. Um, if someone's watching this and perhaps they they might have a strength in another area, what how, what would you advise them to do if they wanted to connect with their community? How could they how could they take that forward? Wow, um, 
What do you think? Um, either come along and work alongside something that exists like us, say if they're a musician, or um, so we, we hope to have some mime artists in the autumn, so we're going to take out a bit different skills to our class, which will probably be to do with music and movement. Um, so connect with something that's already existing, or just put something in your local magazine, say, you know, your local parish magazine if you're rural, or put a poster up, see just how to the market. I mean, we literally just Googled and emailed local groups. There's something called the Little Red Book. Have you heard of it? No. I got it downstairs. It's all the little charities small charities running in Gloucestershire. So basically, put your strengths out there, yeah, say yeah. what you're good at and what you're passionate about, yeah. and see who's up for it. Organise an event, try and run a group, doesn't matter if, if it sort of fails or anything, everyone yeah. everyone carries it, but mm. it seems to me that if you just organise an event, doing whatever it is that your strength is, then um, and, and make it public, then some people connect to it, and they come along, and they, sort of, they, see, they see you, and if you can get in touch with some organisation that you like mm. and offer just to do a one-off thing, you know, whether it is poetry, singing or whatever, um, that most of them are, are really, really pleased to facilitate that. Mm. So that's cool. <laughs> we would like, we'd, be, we'd welcome poets, writers, anyone to come here yeah. and then we could, we could um, see how we could include them because we have, we're offering um, activities for two weeks a year to Nelson Trust. And we change them literally we get together on for breakfast and figure out what we're going to do. So if, if anyone wants to come and join in with that, then yeah. we'll be delighted. That'd be great.